New evidence at the Bohai shipyard in China points to the construction of the next generation of nuclear submarines for the Chinese Navy. While many have argued that the new Type 095 and 096 submarines will be built there, it is only now that the infrastructure is largely ready. The new submarines will be important if the PLA Navy wishes to patrol the open Pacific or routinely venture into the Indian Ocean. Analysis of commercial imagery shows a new launch barge has recently been completed at the site. From an intelligence standpoint, this is an important indicator. So the work at the new Huladao facility will play a key part in the expansion. The U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence points to this fact, stating, current expansion at submarine production yards could allow higher future production numbers. So it is not a great leap to say that the new construction halls and dry dock at Hulada will be used to build new nuclear-powered attack submarines. These are expected to be the all-new Type 095 Tang class which may be China's answer to the Virginia class. I estimate that at least nine will need to be built to reach the 2030 projection. This is because three of the existing boats are reaching the end of their operational lives. The Type 091 Han class were China's first-generation nuclear submarines and entered service in the 1970s. Three of the class, laid down in the 1980s, are still in service. The rest are the newer Type 093 Shang class which first entered service in 2006. Work on the Huladao expansion started in 2014 with large new construction halls built on reclaimed land. The hull has three construction bays, each large enough to house two submarines. The buildings themselves were complete by 2017, but it is only recently that they have been connected to the dry dock where the submarines will be launched. A new launch barge has been put in place to transfer the submarines from dry land into the water. So China now has the facilities lined up to start launching Type 095 submarines. According to Captain Chris Carlson, a former senior U.S. intelligence officer and technical intelligence expert, the driver for the new construction facility may not be the Type 095. Instead he sees the next generation ballistic missile submarine, the Type 096, as benefiting more. This is because he expects it to be larger and heavier than the current Type 094 Jin class SSBN. The original construction hall is probably too small to house both new submarines, but this assumes the submarine's beam width is the constraining issue the Type 096 expected greater length is a definite problem. The original launch barge also likely has inadequate lifting capacity to get a much larger Type 096 submarine into the water. Carlson believes that the new submarines will be wider than the current generation. Despite all the blog blustering, the current Type 093 attack submarine is a noisy boat. And the 093A, while better, isn't the equivalent of a 688 Los Angeles class. This is largely because of size. Carlson continues, the pressure hull diameter of a Type 093 is just too small for a full entablature raft along with compound isolation to house the entire propulsion plant and the necessary auxiliaries. This is the same constraint the Russians experienced with the Victor III class that has a less effective ring raft. In layperson's terms, the pressure hull needs to be bigger to provide space to insulate the submarine steel hull from the vibrations of the machinery. If high levels of stealth are desired, then the new submarines will likely have a similar hull diameter to the Russian improved Akula class. According to U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence documents, the improved Akula is reputed to be quieter than a U.S. Navy improved Los Angeles class submarines. The new Chinese boats will also have a special outer hull treatment, known as an anechoic coating, which improves stealth. Of course, the new submarines are expected to have the latest in Chinese sonar and weapons. But the biggest capability leap might be a larger crew. This will enable much longer patrols because, despite ever-improving automation, crew fatigue remains a major constraint for at-sea endurance. So these bigger boats are seen as a step in the journey for APLA Navy with global ambitions.
China operates near-continuous submarine patrols in the South China Sea. Type 094 Jin-class boats will be replaced by advanced Type 096, equipped with new, longer-range Julang-3 ballistic missiles that can hit the continental U.S. from Chinese home waters. The new Type 096 are rumored to be able to carry 24 SLBMs, compared to the 12 of the existing Type 094 Jin-class SSBN. The new class is also rumored to feature a regular shape hull similar to modern Western SSBN designs. The two previous classes of Chinese SSBNs feature a hump which is used to host the ballistic missiles. According to Christopher Tuami, a U.S. Naval Postgraduate School security scholar in California, the assessment shows crucial improvements in Chinese capabilities. The Chinese subs are now deploying a third-generation missile, the Julang-3 or JL-3, General Anthony Cotton, the U.S. Strategic Command Commander, told a March congressional hearing. With an estimated range of more than 10,000 kilometers 6,214 miles and carrying multiple warheads, the JL-3 allows China to reach the continental United States from Chinese coastal waters for the first time, the Pentagon reports. And within a few years, these missiles will be carried by stealthier Type 096 boats. The Type 096 submarine is expected to be much quieter than the existing Jin class, or Type 094, submarines, which the Defense Department considers to be China's first credible sea-based nuclear deterrent. Given the estimated 30 to 40 year service life of China's ballistic missile submarines, the Type 094 and the Type 096 are expected to operate concurrently. China has long adhered to a policy of minimum deterrence by which it maintains a relatively small nuclear force capable of a retaliatory second strike. But China's recent expansion of its nuclear capabilities indicates that the country deems its current nuclear deterrent insufficient and intends to achieve strategic parity with the United States perhaps achieving 1,000 operational nuclear warheads by 2030.